On this video, I'm going to talk about summation notation. Sometimes we call it the sigma notation. At ginamit niya ang Greek letter sigma. And summation notation, it's a mathematical device para masulat ang isang mahabang notation ng mas madali at mas maikli. Okay? And um, yung summation notation, uh, ganito yung itsura niya. So, meron kang rule dito. For instance, is f, f of i. It's some rule, pwedeng 2 times n, 2 squared, or any rule that you want. And then, you have your index here. Then, you will have your lower bound up to the upper bound. So, let me explain first the notation. This one is called your uh, your summand or your rule. Okay? And then, this is your index. And this one is your uh, lower bound. And n is your upper bound. Now, we read this as the summation, the summation of some rule f of i as i from i equals m to n. For instance, um, uh, let's write 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to, for instance, 25, 23 plus 24 plus 25. Right, you're going to use this expression, the sum from of, of of the first uh, 25 whole num uh, sorry, 25 counting numbers. And you're going to use it paulit ulit sa proof mo, for instance. Of course, you don't want to write lahat ito na paulit ulit. So, we're going to use summation notation para mas mapalinis or mas mapaikli pa yung pagsulat natin ng summation. And, uh, para makapunta doon mula doon sa lower bound, papunta sa upper bound, ang increment niyan, 1 lang ng 1. Okay? So, for this, this is equivalent to uh, summation of ang rule natin dito parang x lang siya or i kasi uh, for, actually the answer is i from i equals 1 to uh, what's this? 25 sabi ko kanina yung papano ka makapunta from lower bound to upper bound ang, ang increment lang niya lagi 1 so from this i so, if we're going to expand this again, so you will start with i, you're just going to substitute. So, we'll have 1. The next will be, uh, what's next after 1? So, that's 2 plus 2. And then, what's next after this? So, that's plus 3. Up to the last one, 25. Okay? Let's have another example. For instance, you want to write 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10. Now, um, we want to know the rule first. Summation of what? So, we want to know the rule. Para ma malaman mo kung paano mo malalaman yung rule natin. Lagi maglagay kita ng, ano, ng 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because if you want to start with 1, so, i equals 1 up to 5 because you have 5 terms. Then, you're going to find out ano yung rule mo. Kung 1 to, paano siya magiging 2? Yung 2 mo, paano siya magiging 4? 3, paano magiging 6? 4, paano magiging 8? And so on. So, clearly, kailangan uh, ang rule mo ay 2 times whatever this is. So, your rule is 2, 2 i. So, yeah. So, we'll start with 1. That's 2. If it's 2, then it will become 4. If it's 3, it will become 6. And, uh, yeah, this is summation notation.